Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So it's two days after Hurricane Fiona and we had quite the storm. If anyone remembers Hurricane Juan 15 years ago on the East Coast, this storm was the worst storm since that storm. This, this storm really pounded the Maritimes, Eastern Canada really hard. We are still without power, it's two days later. We were very lucky. We just had a couple trees down that were away from the house and had a lot of leaves on the ground. I've already raked them up. Yesterday was beautiful, really sunny. It's like calm after the storm, I guess. Today it started raining again, so that doesn't help the crews trying to get everybody power back up. But some places like Prince Edward Island, I heard they're going to be three weeks without power. There's some parts of Newfoundland that just got absolutely destroyed. Port of Bass, which is one of the cities off of the the west coast of Newfoundland got completely destroyed. It's a coastal town and it just got totally destroyed. Waves were like, the surge was like 60 feet high, I heard in places. So anyway, you know, we're lucky. We're still in one piece. We're good. We're safe. So this week's video, I was thinking, um, you know, didn't have a video last week, so I didn't want to miss another week. So I actually powered my, the batteries on my power tools before the storm hit. So my drill, my polishing setup with my drill is all good to go. So I think I'm gonna get a uh, rock to polish. There's been a couple that I wanted to do. I think I'm gonna do a really nice piece of seam, cherry seam maggot. I'll take you inside right now and show you that. So let's go. So here's the piece of cherry sea maggot that I'm going to polish today. It's already cut for display. I've cut a flat piece on the bottom here. Did that a while ago. So it's gonna sit like this and I wanna highlight this side. So this is it, this is the piece dry. As you can see, it's still even dry. You can still, I'm not gonna show it to you finished or wet yet. I'm gonna save that for the end, but it's just got a couple little fractures in it. Not too bad. Uh, the husk of the, uh, the the basalt's kind of coming off, but the the sea maggot itself is still intact. So it's going to be a nice little display piece. Going to polish it with the drill and the diamond pads. Always get a great polish with that. So I'm going to go in there and do that. Got no power, but my batteries are all charged up. Should be able to complete this on one battery. And uh, yeah. Excited. I've been waiting to polish this piece for a while, just haven't gotten around to it. So I'm going to do it today. And you guys are going to come along. So let's get started.
Okay, so we finished polishing that piece of cherry sea maggot using the polishing discs. And, you know, those discs never fail. They always give us a nice mirror shine. This is completely dry. There's a, there's a rough edge there, and there's the polished edge. Ended up getting some, didn't get the scratches out. I was kind of lazy on this corner here, right here. You see the scratch there. Um, but I'm not going to go back and do that. The piece is going to sit on the shelf like this. Uh, it's at the bottom. It's not going to catch your eye. Most of the most of the eye-popping stuff is up here at the top. So uh, I might go back one day and try to polish it up. But I think it's good. Yeah, we got our power back. Uh, came back on uh, during the making of this video. It's currently Friday. And I know Hurricane Ian just went through Florida. And wishing all of our friends down there, you know, safe recovery. Hope everyone's safe. Um, take care of yourselves. If uh, you're still in the storm's path, please get out of it. We here in Nova Scotia know exactly the damage hurricanes can do. We just went through one ourselves, so uh, everybody stay safe down there, and we're uh, wishing you all the best. As always, guys, have a great week, and we'll catch you on the next one. No.